Hi, welcome to the last class in this session of our acrylics class. And um, <clears throat> people are finishing up their batiks today, and I will go around and show you pictures of what they're doing at a later time. But if people are done with their batiks, I have another project, and it's a uh, Cara Maria project. And I have a quote from her on the board. She says, I acknowledge these animals in my work and depict how our increasingly chaotic environment is becoming inhospitable to life. So what she does is make a very inhospitable, chaotic background and then puts a little animal into it. And you have to kind of hunt for that animal. So I've got some steps <clears throat> to go through. We're going to do it on a quarter uh, size sheet of watercolor paper. And the first step is to pick a color, a dominant color, what you want to be the dominant color. In mine, I have green as the dominant. And so I'm going to put that down. And just kind of, you want to make a chaotic environment. So that means, um, maybe we should put this down on the, okay. yeah, if you could put this on that, that would be good. Can you see this? Okay. So. Just put this green down, and you can add another little color to it to um, change the color, you know, so it's not just solid one green. So I'm putting a little uh, yellow ochre on it, and then spray it with alcohol. I hope I don't spray somebody. Okay. So you get a very... <clears throat> Um, diverse looking background. Ooh. And I can add a little bit more green to it around the edges because I didn't get the edges very well. And so just, just put it on and let it dry this way. The next stage that you're going to go into, and I'll probably do a little video of that, is adding two contrasting colors. And I have a blue and a quinacridone magenta that I'm going to add to it. But this is going to be a little more defined. So I'm going to put um, different shapes on here, but very defined. And I'll show that later. Then the last step is to come in with some neutrals and just splash it on there. So it's looks looks like a chaotic environment and then after that's all dry you add your little animal to it and try to put it in a way that it looks hidden um cara maria is on the internet and you can look at her um look at her work she's all over the internet um, she also was shown in our museum here at one point i went and saw her paintings which are really beautiful and um so um, we're kind of using the Cara Maria technique and making a chaotic environment and adding a little animal in there. Okay, I'm starting the second part of this process. And remember, we're trying to create a very chaotic environment for these animals that they have to live in. And so um, I'm going over, and even though the first stage was um, just random spraying all over, I'm going in and actually drawing in some shapes. And notice that those shapes go off the edges, um, on the sides, um, eventually on the bottom, and they are in a color that contrasts with what's down there. So I put on some green and yellow, and I'm adding um, a blue in there which these are contrasty colors, but they are analogous colors also. So they do kind of go together, but they do contrast to each other because the blue comes out very bright on top of this. I don't have a lot of ideas on what I'm going to be doing here. This is all very random, and that's part of the process. This is a random process. 
So um, I'm just doing it as I'm going along with no really pre-planning ahead of time. And um, afterwards, I'm thinking you can even um, outline it with um, with a black marker or a white marker, something like that, to give it a little more definition so these shapes are very defined on this. Now you may notice that I added some magenta in here and I'm coming in with a black marking pen and going around the blue that I have down here to make it a little bit more defined. This chaotic blue forms that go across here. So it contrasts with the very randomness of the background because this is kind of more defined. I've said I figured out where I want, well, I didn't figure out too much ahead of time, I just kind of randomly did some shapes around the surface. And the important part is that when you do shapes like this, that you do go off the edges in at least three places. I think I've gone off in four places because that brings the edges into the painting. So, I'm kind of running out of marker. It's coming in lighter and darker. Okay. And the, the magenta I think I'm going to leave un, unmarked around. So it is kind of like the background, a little random. And then I did spray, I splattered magenta around here also. And so it gives it an interesting thing. Now the last part of this whole process is to put in a little animal. And I've picked a uh, hummingbird. And you want, it has to be small, and it has to almost blend in with things around. I'm putting down some matte medium to get it glued down. And this is just a picture out of, um, off the internet, just, so you can almost not see the hummingbird. You have to look at it very closely to figure out that it's a part of this painting, but that's the whole point in her paintings. So this is my Cara Maria type abstract painting. Okay, Carmen has finished um, painting and taken the wax off her off of her batik, and now she's getting ready to just go in and do a little touch up with acrylic before we get to the actual final stage, but it's looking very beautiful right now. Now, but before she actually starts um, using the acrylic on this, um, she needs to attach it to watercolor paper with matte medium and let that dry and put the matte medium under and over it. 
Holly has just put down matte medium on the watercolor paper and is putting her piece down on it and smoothing it out and she's going to put matte medium over the top of it all and then let it dry. Stephanie is putting the matte medium over the top of her piece and smoothly covering it. It will also have to dry. Rebecca has put down her matte medium and is now going to go over the top of it with some more matte medium and again let it dry. And here we have some people working on adding some more paint into the place before they come back and wax it. Linda is doing the same. She's adding more paint in before she comes through and waxes the surface. Here's Jane's European Village. And this is Tamara's abstract. Carmen's Cara Maria type painting. Chaos with an animal.